Hi dear friends click on the like button and the subscribe button hit the bell icon and don't forget to follow me on Instagram Hi guys and welcome to another vlog I am driving this car the Honda Odyssey and you can see there are a lot of buttons over here and uh, this is the 2014 model you can see the design is actually very neutral it is huge the car is really wide because it's made for america <laughs> and it gets projector headlights the bumper isn't very adventurous as such and you can see a lot of mosquitoes have been killed but let's quickly open the engine bay as you can see 3.5 liter i vtec vcm honda motor and cab over design that's where the engine bay is quite small on this car it's actually a very light engine bay or rather the hood is very light and this car has massive proportions just look at it i mean it just never ends it is so long it's like really long and okay you can see the wheels on this car they are 17 inches 235 65 17 nice looking wheels but like most hondas the design isn't very adventurous doesn't need to be by the way you can see a lot of other japanese cars here this is the mazda protege that's a lexus i don't know the model name it's not even written on the car that's a corolla old corolla and there's another odyssey over here other than this one the old one so let's quickly open the boot all you need to press this button and there it opens So the good thing is this is a 8 seater it can seat 8 people now the boot is humongous like humongous you can keep a lot of people over here and guess what when i put the seat up like this as you can see there's a lot of depth here to keep a lot of stuff in fact with 8 people you can keep the luggage here as well that's how good it is space to keep stuff over here and press a button and there it retracts now another cool feature is just press this button once and the door opens automatically this good amount of space at the rear in fact it is better than the innova cup holders here as well place to keep stuff air conditioning lights everything like the rear seat the last row is actually very practical on this car meanwhile there's an armrest here on both sides actually and guess what You need to just press this button to close this, or you just need to click it like that, and it closes. That's how good it is as a people carrier. But let me quickly sit in the rear seat and tell you the coolness of this vehicle. Just click this button once. There it opens. Press this button, and there it closes. And guess what? You can also operate it with the button on the remote. and the buttons over there to operate as well there's good amount of legroom on offer like really good amount of legroom on offer good amount of headroom as well the cabin is extremely wide look at the cabin width massive cabin seats are comfortable three people can easily sit here comfortably and uh, jutting out cup holders over here space here as well magazine holders and seat back isn't scooped out but it doesn't need to be there's so much space and this armrest is a very nice thought because it's a sliding door now imagine if you're keeping your hand on the door with a sliding door your hand also slides behind that's not a very good idea it gets a oh, sun blind over here nice touch and the windows are really large ac controls over here there's a light here as well twin ac vents here similarly over there but the ac controls are over here similarly at the rear the ac controls are not present actually at the rear it doesn't need it adjustable headrest everywhere so three at the rear three over here and two over here all adjustable so it's a proper eight seater car which can actually accommodate people and the luggage and there is a cup holder for a half liter bottle over here and to keep stuff like magazines and stuff like that that's nice i love the mechanism of this door how it operates and that's actually the coolest thing about this car is these sliding doors obviously they are known as the kidnap doors in india keeping this button pressed and voila it closes so it gets a sunroof now let me quickly get into the driver's seat first and foremost huge door pockets you can keep a lot of stuff and there's just not one door pocket there's another one below this which is the power window switches as well as the mirror controls you can see this is the handbrake of this car yeah handbrake would be a wrong term it is actually the foot brake there's a cubby hole to keep your coins this is to open the fuel lid this is to open the trunk this is again to open and close the second row of doors the only second row of doors actually turn off traction control ac vents uh, the steering is nice to hold cruise control buttons over here for the phone this is and this is for the audio system of this car gear levers position nicely it has two screens this screen 
screen is uh, used for basically reverse camera and, and blind spot monitoring and stuff like that this is for the infotainment system let me turn on the car you can see this red button is familiar to one we have seen in the honda city and other hondas in india actually the air conditioning works really well on this car let me turn that off right now here we go so two screens are a little confusing one would have been enough honestly and you can put a wallpaper and see trip data over there so here we go into trip computer it'll tell you instant fuel average fuel economy and stuff like that you can put your clock or wallpaper uh, these are the ac controls by the way these are for the infotainment system and there are a lot of cubby holes so there is one big fat cubby hole over here there's a 12 volt charging socket over here there's an aux cable over here and there's a big bottle holder over here meanwhile this is a cool box you can actually cool this box to cool your drinks the glove box is large enough and the seats are extremely comfortable and nice they're wide and made for america definitely space to keep stuff here to in uh, bottle holders over here as well so definitely a very practical cabin of this car and uh, thumbs up to honda for making it like that uh, wipers are dual blade ones and they work really well to clean the screen like this windscreen on this car is like huge auto dimming inside rear view mirror twin lights over here sunglass holder over here which has a convex design so that you can talk to everybody inside the car now i know where the xuv 500 got its inspiration from and uh, you get a mirror as well as twin lights over here same as the situation here as well so it gets a sunroof uh, which isn't very large i would say and uh, the dashboard design is kind of neutral it is not the best now there's a multi information display over there and you can toggle using this button so it's saying 260 miles is the range right now and uh, outside temperature 77 degrees fahrenheit total kilometers odometer real time mileage there's a fuel meter on the utmost left there's a tachometer then and there is uh, the gear position indicator basically tell you you're in which position right now parking reverse neutral drive or low then there's a speedometer which is marked in miles per hour and also in the center is marked in kilometers per hour on the right most you get the fuel meter cruise control works really well on this car and overall this vehicle actually feels quite nice it doesn't really feel very vanish even though it is a van which cannot be denied and the cabin is so airy and huge it's like you're driving something really massive now obviously because it is the united states of america the odyssey has to live up to the tradition and kudos to honda for making a car to fit the needs of americans i just want this vehicle to come to india let me play some audio for you right away so we'll pick up fm here we go then i got chickens to tee up on the west side me and you and some romantic well it's not really bad but it's not good either but let's get driving right away air conditioning off car into drive mode and there's a l mode as well which is to maintain lower gears while you know probably climbing over inclines and stuff like that and straight away let me tell you this car doesn't feel its weight i mean yes it is a heavy vehicle but just doesn't feel heavy when you drive it and oh my god there's too much sun coming from ahead but it feels so comfortable to drive and easy as well like the ride quality is splendid absolutely splendid the ride quality is let's take that road on the right right away here we go and hard onto the throttle immediately there is good amount of punch and vtec is already kicking in yo yeah there is good amount of power on offer so this one uses a 3.5 liter v6 so it produces 248 horses which is quite good for a car which is a minivan and essentially a people's carrier for <laughs> reference the toyota innova which is sold in india produces much lesser power and obviously this one is a uh, front wheel drive but the performance is very punchy light and weight definitely helps its cause compared to the size and the size is massive it is like humongous this car and the steering actually offers good amount of feel and feedback the glass area is huge but the good thing is that in spite of having so much of glass area it doesn't intimidate you when you drive it it's very easy to drive it it's easy to twirl the steering which is light and at speed it does way up well as well see around corners it is offering good amount of feel and feedback something which i did not expect a van to do but this one does it quite well and i i mean honestly the body roll is quite well contained obviously there's a lot of body roll this isn't a car to push around corners but still the body roll is very well contained in this car and like you know a little bit hard onto the throttle 
he just picks up pace so well vtech obviously kicks in your let down by the fact that the transmission isn't that great so this one uses a six speed automatic and there is no way you can control the shifts on this car it picks up pace quite well i actually was driving this out on the highway and was doing 65 miles per hour on this and it just feels so relaxed and we just is very well contained on this vehicle and it doesn't make much noise so see the road condition it is not the smoothest of roads but somehow the ride and handling balance is pretty good on this car some amount of suspension noise is coming which is typical of a honda and uh, the setup is very well done it is on the stiffer side but because of the good roads here in the united states of america it just feels very compliant and nice the odyssey certainly feels like a good car to drive and uh, that's something which makes it so popular in the united states of america i know i have been talking continuously right left and center uh, i think i've taken a wrong turn over here so there are a lot of dogs there's a big fat dog here barking i'll show you something nice about this car now when i get into reverse firstly this is very convenient how the gear lever is placed over here and here we are in reverse nice reverse camera similar to the one we see on the city so obviously honda shares a lot of stuff amongst all its cars naturally for cost saving we get into drive yes doggy what's up i know you like barking a lot but chill bro both of you chill chill i'm not doing anything relax it's just a bean mode i'm not even giving beans and why are you barking so much i think they don't like any guests like really you don't like any guests anyways we will move on slowly so that the dog stop getting so intimidated mileage is also pretty good from this car and uh, some of the steering now it actually weighs up well in center head position when i actually try to center it i could feel there was some added weight which is actually a good thing and the brakes are also very good like you know they are there almost 90 percent but the rest 10 percent now you have to get hard on to it to actually get good amount of braking performance so here we go hard on to the throttle not really hard as such but yeah it does pick up pace quite well if honda launches this van in india trust me in spite of the sliding doors it will beat the innova if it is priced attractively obviously because this is a perfect people carrier like a perfect people carrier in every possible way it just feels so good to drive i i, I honestly feel it drives better than the innova see you can see the vtech does kick in yo at certain rpms but that's not enough because you know the only problem with the odyssey is that it's not very reliable can you believe it a honda car is not very reliable yes that's what i read online that people were complaining it's not the most reliable car and all that's the old odyssey by the way little bit enthusiasm no problemo because body roll is very well contained and the steering offers good amount of feel and feedback as well brakes offer good stopping power and uh, the engine like all other hondas is just fantastic i love the motor on this one two three features on this vehicle are absolutely phenomenal and i'll show you which ones well first and foremost it gets blind spot assist yeah that's right blind spot assist so one of the screens come into handy uh, if i give an indicator when i give a right indicator so it will show me in the screen everything can you see that that's one good thing then uh, it has lane assist as well so if i'm driving over the white line it will beep so in terms of safety honda has given it some features which are very handy and i have to slow down because there's some animal right there so here we go on to the throttle on part throttle now it really responds very well however get hard onto the throttle and you realize that it kind of lacks there slightly because it simply doesn't you know shift gears as fast as you would expect and uh, the speedometer is thankfully marked in kilometers per hour as well so there is the old odyssey yet again i don't know how many times i'm going to spot that today the a pillar is actually intrusive and uh, at high speeds it's actually very stable a car and wind noise is also very well contained that's what i realized when i was driving it out on the highway it's a car uh, which is for the family it's a car made to munch miles and at a price of around 30 to 35 thousand dollars it's a car which does offer a lot of value because you know you can take more people in the vehicle which means that you know the cost of um, travel gets split among people in, in terms of you know you're taking eight people in this car who are extremely comfortable you can carry the luggage as well and that's why this particular car the honda odyssey is such a fantastic van a fantastic people carrier 
unfortunately we're not going to get it into india anytime soon so when i leave the throttle the eco light start blinking to tell me that i'm driving eco friendly which is a nice thing or on to the throttle the revs climb very fast as expected from a honda car so guys if you like this vlog make sure you give it a thumbs up that's a like button and also subscribe to the channel i will see you in the next video real soon bye bye